Hi everyone, just wanted to give you a quick update before we jump into the readings and let you know we're kind of hovering right around that 21% mark of the goal as far as for my Master Reiki Apprenticeship Program. Um, so that's it's been sitting kind of still this week. There's been a couple of donations, but um, not enough to really push it up <laughs> to where I can say, oh, we're past 21% yet. So um, anyway, that's where we're hovering right now. I just wanted to keep you guys updated and say thank you, thank you, thank you to all the new donations. And thank you to all the old donations. And thank you to all the people, of course, who get readings from me regularly, even before I started the Reiki stuff. Um, I had a lady this week that set up a recurring donation. That was sweetness. Nobody's ever done that before, so that was absolutely awesome. Thank you guys so much. Um, don't ask me how she did it. I have no idea. <laughs> but um, anyway, thank you so much for all the help. I do really, really appreciate it. And now on with your readings. Hello there, Taurus. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of August 8th through the 14th. On Monday, what we have showing up for you is the Moon card. The Moon card just means that there's some kind of situation on Monday that you're going to realize um, that there's that you have just enough information about that situation really to know that you do not have all the information about that situation and you're going to have a hard time actually putting your fingers on what is the missing information from that. Okay, so that's Monday. You guys have so many major arcana cards. You guys just have some stuff going on this week. I think you've got, yeah, you've got one that's minor. Everything else is major. So this is going to be a, a pivotal point week for you. And I'm feeling like as I talk about this, I'm feeling like this is going to be a pivotal point for you at a spiritual level, that there's going to be some things that are um, coming to your attention, coming to your awareness more this week um, than on an average week. And um, it's really interesting because I know this is not like a new moon or a full moon week. Usually I see, st you know, big pivotal stuff during those weeks, but it's not even that week. So this is interesting, but it is, they're telling me that this is at a very spiritual level for you, that things are going to be changing. So your perspectives around things are going to change at a deep level, which is going to, when you change it, when we change at a spiritual level, what happens is that manifests not only in our spiritual lives, but also in our material lives as well. It kind of touches everything. So this is going to be a week where, um, things start to shift. Usually also when we have a big change spiritually, things start to shift tangibly in a more subtle way at first and then just kind of gradually go over to what the new normal is going to be. But you've got all week of majors coming up, so there's a lot of stuff going on definitely. And so for, I would say that for normally when I read for what's coming on for the day, I'm reading a lot of really surface level stuff just for the weeklies. I usually get more into deeper stuff in the monthlies. Um, but I would say be listening as I'm talking about what could be happening in the tangible. Also be paying attention and kind of thinking, hmm, how could that play out in my spiritual life, in my perspectives about things? Um, you know, in my awareness of things, how could that play out? Because I feel like this week is going to be a week that really touches you on a deep level pretty much the whole week through. So anyway, let's look at your second card, which is Tuesday Taurus. This is the judgment card. And this is telling me that you are making a decision that not only affects yourself, but also affects other people around you. I'm hearing for some of you, we're talking about family, talking about your children. For some of you, this is talking about the significant other that you're with. Um, it's really interesting because the way that information is coming through to me, it's kind of like this decision affects some of you. It affects you and your children. Some of you, it affects you and your significant other, but not so much your children. Maybe you don't have children. For some of you, that it affects you and your children, and I don't hear anything. Another, maybe you're in a situation where you're doing that whole single parenting, or maybe you're co-parenting and you only have your children some of the time. But I feel like for those of you that this decision is talking about, you know, immediate family, children or significant other. For a lot of you, this is, um, you know, an either or situation. I have like almost no energy that comes up around this affects children and the significant other. That's 
<laughs> that's kind of an interesting thing. So whatever this decision is, and it won't be for family for all of you. For some of you, you're leaders at work and you have to make some decisions that affect, you know, a crew underneath of you or maybe a company underneath of you, just kind of depending on what your level is at work. And so for some of you, I do feel like this is coming up at work too. Uh, but this is a decision that you're trying to do the best thing for everybody involved here. Um, I feel like you're not trying to look at this decision just from, okay, how does this benefit me the most and everybody else forget you. Um, I feel like you are trying to look at this um, and handle this situation and make this decision in a way that is good for everybody involved. Let's look at Wednesday. Wednesday we do have the Five of Cups showing up reverse. This is the only um, not major card that we actually have showing up, the only minor card that we have showing up. So with this minor card showing up, this is going to be the only thing that's really kind of surfacey level. And the fact that it's surrounded by so many majors, I'm not even sure that I would expect this thing to be at surfacey level. There's just too much going on on a deep level. So Five of Cups in Reverse, basically, Taurus, what this means is that there was something in your life that happened that brought some disappointment to you, and this was something that you had some energy or resources invested in. Um, when this card comes up reversed, what that's saying is that you had changed your priorities when whatever this was disappointed you so that you were putting more energy and resources into something else so that you wouldn't be disappointed again but with it in reverse on Wednesday you're going back to the old way of doing things so you're going back to those original priorities of where you're putting your energy and your efforts and your resources so um, for whatever reason uh, you are thinking that whatever it was that disappointed you, that maybe that was just a fluke or um, you don't expect it to disappoint you again. Maybe if you're in a relationship with somebody and they disappointed you, maybe you feel like um, they're not going to do that again. I'm not sure exactly what you've got going on here, but um, I do see priorities going, shifting back to the way they were before you changed them the first time. Let's look at Thursday. Thursday you have the hanged man. And the Hanged Man, Taurus, just tells me that on Thursday you're really um, taking some time to mull something over. Maybe you're even meditating about it. Uh, but there's something that has you feeling like you don't know how to move forward with that situation or in that relationship or whatever it is. And so you're just really taking some time to, to sit with it, so to speak, and to really... Um, explore it in a in a laid back peaceful kind of way so that you can have some insights about um, what you want to do moving forward with this now this is a good card because generally when we take the time to really allow ourselves to focus on something like this then that's usually when we do find those solutions that we want all right so let's look at Saturday Taurus Saturday you have the Emperor showing up what I'm hearing is this is you taking control of your life on Saturday whether you're male whether you're a female Taurus does not matter to me um, I feel like for the most of you this talks about you actively taking control of your life making decisions taking actions that maybe you were letting other people do well now you're doing those uh, for some of you, I've got the picture of um, your roommate or maybe your partner that you live with is on vacation or out of town on business or whatever. I don't know. And so you're actually doing some of the things that that person would do and you're actually making some of the decisions that that person would do. And so you're the one that has stepped up into that position that normally that other person would hold. Um, I don't feel like that's... The, the way that this is going to manifest for everybody but there's somebody out there that that's going to manifest like that I mean I'm seeing um, just even very um, surfacey things you know tangible things like I'm even seeing you taking your trash to the trash but I have this feeling that I'm picking up as I'm as I'm seeing you taking the trash out to the dumpster or to the trash that um, that you know that that's not your normal job somebody else would be doing that but now you're in charge of that because that somebody else is not 
is not either picking up the slack or is not around to take care of it or who knows. Uh, but you're definitely um, in charge or taking control of things that normally would not be something that you would take control of. It doesn't come across as a bad thing. It just comes across as, well, this is just the way it is. Um, yeah, I mean, it could be that the people who normally mow your lawn, for some of you, it's going to be the people that normally mow your lawn aren't going to be able to make it out to your place this week or whatever. Maybe they have an equipment failure or maybe somebody got sick. I don't know. And so you're having to take care of that. Uh, but this is not for all it's not going to be so minor for all of you i think for a lot of you this is going to be uh more of a major shift of authority or a shift of responsibility a shift of accountability i'm hearing for some of you where you've been allowing other people to just handle your stuff now you're being more accountable for your own stuff um i see this as a very positive step up for you, for those of you who this is a shift in accountability and it's not such a, a temporary thing like someone just went on vac going on vacation and you're just kind of doing what they would normally do. So for those of you that this is actually a shift in accountability, um, that's growth. And that uh, growth can be tough when we're going through it, but it is we're so worth it because on the other side of it, we're more empowered and we can... Um, live our lives more happily and more productively. So um, I see this as being a really good, good, good card for you guys. Now the next card also is a good card, but it doesn't feel like a good card at first. Just to give you a heads up. So Saturday what we have coming up is the Tower. And the Tower card is a card that talks about something that has been making you feel secure in your tangible world. Um... Or maybe even in your spiritual world, actually. Maybe it's a belief system. But there's something that has been making you feel secure that suddenly it's all shook up or it maybe even is pulled completely out of your life. So if you have a core base belief in your value system and something happens that makes you question that, that could come up as a tower card where you're questioning um, your own faith or your own ideas about how the universe works spiritually. Um but this can also be something very tangible. This can be something like um, losing a job or um, having a car break down that you really have to fix. And maybe the uh, fix is a little bit more expensive than what you would expect. Um, this can be uh, losing your cell phone. For me, that would show up as a tower card because uh, a cell phone makes me feel very secure, especially, you know, being... Uh, a single woman out in the world. The cell phone puts me in contact with my friends if I would need help for anything, if my car went down or whatever. So if, something like that, if, the, if a cell phone is something that offers you security and your cell phone goes toes up, then you know, okay, this is what that tower card was talking about. It doesn't have to be anything really super huge. It just has to be something that affects your sense of security for it to be what I'm seeing on this card. So Saturday, something happens that does affect your sense of security. Um, the Tower card, though, generally, the reason I say it's a good card, even though it doesn't seem good right off the bat, is that generally the Tower card only shows up if we're stagnating in some area of our life. And if there's anything that I have figured out that Spirit does not like, it's stagnation. <laughs> <laughs> I think Spirit would almost rather see us go backwards than sit still. <laughs> but, um, and obviously that's not ideal either. But um, if Spirit notices us stagnating somewhere and we have opportunities to move on or find other avenues to have our needs fulfilled that will give us more of a challenge and let us grow more, and yet we're not doing that. We're not looking for those other opportunities. After a while, Spirit will get a little bit fed up. And then we'll get the boot. We'll get just booted right out of that thing that makes us feel secure. So that we can, so that we will <laughs> look around for those opportunities for growth for us. That also will fulfill the needs that were met by that last thing that was secure for us. Or that felt secure to us. So the cool thing is that once you get your breath back and once you get back on your feet after the tower, um, then 
you can start looking for those other opportunities. And of course, what do you find when you find opportunities for growth? These are better opportunities than the opportunity you were living in before. So it's really, it really is a good card in the long run. It's just the short run that makes you go, oh. <laughs> All right, so let's look at Sunday. What we have coming up here is the Justice card in reverse. Let me just feel around on this card a little bit. The Justice card is one that I've always kind of struggled with, but lately um, I've started to see all kinds of different meanings for it come up, and so it's just really been an interesting card for me. I'm feeling like, Taurus, there's something going on on Sunday where the scales just are not balanced. This can be... Um, an argument or a fight with somebody that's important to you, a friend, a family member, um, a significant other. And this can be something where um, it feels to me, well, I'm getting a couple of things in. It could be something where this whole fight really was based on an emotional reaction to something rather than um, thinking things through and trying to have a logical discussion about things. Someone had an emotional reaction to a situation and I feel like it sort of got all blown out of control. The other thing that I have about this is I feel like there is going to be... Yeah, I think both of these are going to apply in the situations that this type of translation applies to. But I think also there's going to be a little bit of a cut in communications after whatever this happens with the other person. So I think, you know, this can be as simple as, you know, if you're married and you have a fight with your spouse and things are, you know, they're just an emotional fight and, and it's not really fair and things just get out of hand. This can be you or your spouse just uh, giving the other one the cold shoulder, the silent treatment. You're still in the same house, but you're just not talking about anything. Um, this can be as simple as that. If you're not in the same house, this can be, you know, no text, no phone calls from this other person. Um, I'm hearing for a while. I think for some of you, this is going to be temporary. I do also think for some of you, this is not such a temporary um, lack of communication. This may be um, a done, da done, done, done deal. Okay, so what else can this card be telling me? Okay, so Taurus, I think it's really important to um, be aware of your ego. This is another translation that's coming in. Be aware of your ego on Sunday. Um, appreciate the people around you who have helped you, who have helped you to get where you are. Um, you, a lot of you are in a very good place right now. And... It can be easy to forget that at one time you needed help. And so Sunday's a really good day for you to try to remind yourself that, you know, we are all created equal. We all put our pants on the same way. We all put on our skirts the same way, whatever the case may be. We all have red blood going through our veins. And, you know, just try not to let your ego... Uh, run away with you because the potential is really here for some of you Tauruses that we're not talking about some kind of disagreement the potential is really here for your ego to just run away with you and um, when you do that it can leave a bad taste in other people's mouths about you so we don't really want to do that we know we know because I'm a Taurus rising so um, we know that we are just as good as anybody else and that anybody else is just as good as us too so we just kind of want to remember that on sunday all right taurus thank you so much everybody for stopping by for hanging out liking sharing subscribing and commenting i do appreciate everybody's support so much everyone have a fantastic week and i'll see you back here the next time peace out Hello everybody, this is Amista, and I am coming to you today with something completely different than what you've ever seen here before. Completely different than what I ever thought I would do. Um, I have been taking Reiki training, and I've 
gotten level one and I've gotten level two and I really want to take master training because already I've realized that there are other people out there who need to know how to be um, able to do Reiki for themselves and I'm not able, I'm not qualified to show them that or to teach them that or to pass it on to them or empower them with that until I become a Reiki master. And so I was looking into a Reiki master program and I meet all the qualifications as far as that goes. I've been accepted into the master program, but the last little bit of money is what I need some help with and I'm hoping that you guys um, will help me with that. Um, I need to raise another $3,000 to get myself into the program. And so that's where you guys come in. Um, what I'm doing is I am accepting very happily and very thankfully and very gratefully any donations that you may feel like you would want to give. If you don't want to, obviously, then don't. <laughs> um, but if you do feel like you want to help me to get into this Reiki Master Apprenticeship Program, any help that you, any of you and all of you send is great. Uh, no donation is too small. Um, I just ask that they're over like 35 cents because I think PayPal will take 35 cents of whatever comes in um, as a fee for collecting payment. But Anything other than over 35 cents is no donation is too small. So there's the corrected version of that. Um, and actually I was looking with, I have over 7,000 subscribers. If every subscriber donated a dollar, I would be able to end this um, request. But so if you would like to donate, I would be extremely thankful. I would appreciate that a lot. Also, I want to do something for you in exchange for donating. So anybody who would donate at all, um, I would like to offer you 15 minutes of uh, free Reiki distant healing. In other words, I would send you some healing energy um, where you would not have to come to my house or we would not have to meet in person. Um, just like I do a lot of my readings by Skype or by phone. I can also send the healing energy without having to be right in front of you. We don't even have to be on the phone or on Skype when I do it, although I will want to touch base with you ahead of time to find out where you would like me to target that energy. If you have any particular thing you want to um, have worked on energetically and also to touch base after it's done just to let you know that I have sent the energy in to check in with you, see how you're feeling, that type of thing. Um, anybody who donates anything more than $50, what I would like to do is send you some Reiki energy. I would send you the same amount of minutes of Reiki energy as you send dollars. So say you donate $50, then I would send you 50 minutes of Reiki um, energy. Anybody who wants to donate and doesn't want to receive Reiki but knows somebody else that they would like to have the Reiki sent to, um, feel free to let me know that and we, you can gift that Reiki to somebody else and I will just touch base with them, make sure I have permission to send them that energy and um, talk to them about where they would like it targeted and all of that just like I would if I was sending that to you. Um, so that is what I've got going on and I really appreciate, like I said, all of the help any of you can send. I know not everybody can send, not everybody will want to send help, um, but I am hoping that there will be enough to get me into this quickly, quickly. Otherwise I would probably have to wait, I don't know, six months, a year before I had this kind of uh, money to get myself into there and I don't want to wait that long. I want to be able to empower people more quickly than that. Um, so what I'm doing is I am in the description section on underneath the video. I'm going to send you a link where you can donate and you can choose whatever amount you want to donate. And um, I will probably also have that um, showing in the video as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you everybody for listening and for giving this some thought, some prayer, some attention. 
and um, thank you everybody who actually does donate as well. I appreciate it all. Thank you so much. Peace.